hello 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 so if you are new to graphic design and if you are new to smartphone design i bid you welcome to the world of graphic designing and so this video tutorial guide will be a basic fundamental uh, knowledge on how you can use pixel lab to design use pixel lab to this to make amazing designs on today's video tutorial guide uh there's no scripts nothing nothing over here i'm just i'm just gonna be showing you the basic tool you need to know about graphic design the tools you know how you can make things just walk around graphic design in the simplest way ever if you have watched other video i bet this video is more simpler than any other video you've watched so i don't have any scripts over here i'll be teaching you straight away on how you can use this tool as a new p in smartphone graphic design so without making much about time let's get into this video so when you go to play store and just and when you just go to play store and you search for pixel lab i'm sure for you to get this video that means you have a knowledge power knowledge of pixel lab but if you haven't so you just go to your app store or play store and just search for pixel lab as it is written over here P I X E L L A B. So Pixel Lab. Even before you don't type in, it is going to bring it as suggestion. So when you open the, when you install the app and open it, this will be the default. No, not really default, but it's going to bring a default screen that will look exactly like this. It will ask the same feature like this. So when you get to this, this is the default app, and I'll be starting from this upper region then move to this lower region and so i may make this video a three part or four part series so kindly go through the playlist or the link in this video to get the other videos but this is the part one so this is the home page of the smartphone design app which is called pc lab so what this fit this plus feature done up here is that it gives you ability to bring in text let's let me just go let it, be, it gives you ability to what to import text okay let me redo it um this plus feature here give you the ability to write any text on your design so when you have this over here go down to this down a part down here and you can edit your test you can edit your test when you go over here you can easily write edit and let me just type in pixel pixel lab so what this plus does what it gives you ability to edit your test and this will just give you a date and not the current date I'm making this video and um, this over here gives you the ability to select from the custom stickers that comes with the app there are over a lot of sticker here that can you can use for your design sorry for that and we have amazing designs emojis you know stuff like that that you can use for design but these are not really these are just basic things you should know about this and again from this stretch feature it gives you this uh, these shapes gives you the ability to bring in shapes from graph uh, for any of your projects and when you click on let me go back again when you click on that shapes it's gonna take you to another uh, let me just say home page entirely and over here you will have the ability to change the shapes you know you have a lot of shapes over here it gives you the ability to choose variety of shape and when you're done with that this one also gives you the ability to reduce the hardness or not the opacity the hardness of the color the color of the shape over here so if i increase it it's going to re increase the color and if i reduce this it's going to reduce the color that's the job of opacity and in, in, on pixel app and over here you have the ability to bring in choosing any color you want which is gradient and the gradient gives you the ability to use two or more colors for a particular shapes or design gradient gives you the ability to choose to uh, to use two or more colors for your design what this plus feature done in this right part of color is that it gives you the ability to choose your own color let's say for example the color the color given here you don't want it for your design you can easily click on this plus feature and it's going to give you the ability you can just walk around if you know the color code you can click on this pencil icon up here just click it and just write the color code and 
it will make it easier and if you have already uh, a custom made color in your design you can use this it's called a picker to more like a picker it gives you ability to pick colors from your previous on your projects that you are working on let's see let me see if i have any projects okay i don't have any projects since i only have this black, black one that is why it's bringing it over here now, let's say i have a variety of shapes and texture it's going to load it up here so i can just choose this color and click ok so what this color slider do over here is just this is this will give you the ability to choose the main color over here let me just give you this ability to choose the main color and this one gives you the ability to choose uh, uh various uh, variation of the color let's say the lighter variation variation and what this third uh, slider does is that it gives you the ability to increase the hardness of the color or reduce it so just like the opacity we talked earlier on so just look for it like just look at this upper region as i increase this region it shows you how the color is going to shine how lighter the color is going to shine how to look on your design so if i increase it it will be dark and if i reduce it it will be dark so this is the uh what this three slide i do so anything i do here is going to reflect over here anything is the outcome of what i'm doing with what is going to be over here so let me just leave it at this so moving on to the stroke still on that plus icon which is the shape this one gives you the ability to give your design like a stroke more to different to give it a contrasting background to different from uh, what you're working on and this stroke over here has its own opacity has its own color you can also choose different color entirely for the stroke okay if i go with white over here or this orange it gives you the ability to work with it so and this opacity also you know the hardness or brightness of the color and um with this okay this if let's for example you are working with triangles on or let me just use this shape uh what this does is that is makes like the the angles uh sharp or even like make it it gives us a radius part so if i choose this can you see what it has brought if i choose this it's going to like you know reduce it and if i choose this it's going to make it sharper that is basically what this one does and this radius is just like it's like the hardness like is going to write uh, the sharpness of the angles that's what this radius does so if uh, the more i blow okay sorry it's a blow radius so it's going to blow the stroke that is what the job of this last slider does so we are done with this uh with this plus uh check mark over here and this next one over here is the ability when you're working on a project this gives you uh, ability to save your project and leave the app it gives you the ability to save your project okay if you click on this self project it's going to bring another option that what do you want to save this with so let me just type a uh, beginner's guide uh guide so pixel app for example so when you click on this and you click on okay over here it will save your deal what you are working on as a project so anytime you come back to present lab you can easily continue where we left and where you can get your previous work is just go over to this one over here and go over this project and when you click on this it's going to take you exactly back to what you have been working on before so let me just delete all this app and um, continue what we're doing so and let's say for example you are back to a project you can easily save these changes as like when you continue working on make sure you always click this save changes because it saves your progress it saves your progress on pixel lab and when you're done with the project you can save or save as image it's definitely saved to your gallery there's also another video that i'll be making that will show you the right way to save your video on pixel lab so moving on to this share icon so it's just a basic thing on how you can share your project you can also use it to save your project also but let's say you have the uh social media platform over here and you have it you want to share it so you can easily do it over here and stuff like that and what this does is give you it gives you custom like custom on um, quotes that you can use for projects so that depending on the pixel lab you're using what is basic one is they will have all this you know can just easily choose over here so these are the basic thing about this and the next one is this icon what this icon touch is like is more like it has some of the feature that is in this plus icon but you can just you know you want to bring image from your gallery okay you want to bring image from your gallery you can use this it's going to take you to your gallery it's going to take it to your gallery and gives you the ability to import 
image or pictures from your gallery let me just go with this um it's gonna save it gives the ability to import uh image from gallery for your background and um and you can also bring image from your gallery using this so let me just back let me just change uh give it return to default so you can also bring picture from your gallery from by clicking this from gallery when you click from galleries it the ability to bring in shapes also so you have it and you have this and also this uh, this last feature where it gives you the ability to draw let's say for example you want to clean on some parts in this design just for this tutorial sake you can just do it uh, what this does is makes you undo what you've done and just of everything and this is like an eraser it makes you eraser so just work with these tools and it is easier these ones are user friendly let me just delete this okay let me delete this also so and um what this does okay what this does over here is makes you undo let's say for example you make a mistake okay like what i deleted earlier if i want to return it back to this project i can easily click on this and it's going to in the order of how i deleted it so this is undo uh, like a redo button of what you've done and this uh this check mark icon over here gives you the ability to zoom in your work let's say you are working on a project that is kind of big you can easily zoom in your work and and um you have your projects and you can so you can easily work on how it's going to appear so you can use zoom is all around your design but note when working with this when you click on this and it has this uh it is looking like this you can't do anything you can't edit anything so if you want to leave it like this and work like this click on make sure you click on that plus icon mark it's going to leave it like this and you can easily work on anything on your canva on your canva okay before we will move on the, this is the basic like and uh, the interface or the default interface or the size of what you are work, of working on is called canva is this the canva for my design okay this is called canva for any, any design so the size of what you're working on is always what's called canva so when you go back to this when you want to work on you let's say you have zoomed into this part you can't click on edit anything unless you click on this plus mark icon back then you can work on this if i'm still on this without clicking this i can't work on it i'll be only i'll be moving the canva which i may find this frustrating but just click it back and you'll be able to what work with this so moving to this this is called the grid line it's called the grid line let me reduce this back this is called the grid line what this does is that it gives you the ability to align your text or your images it gives you the ability to perfectly align your work on when working on this app so for example you can redo you can choose the amount of uh, lines you want for example if you click on this it gives you the ability look let me start from this this is just like a magnet a magnet for your work a magnet so let me just go like this uh this what this magnet does is like if you are working on certain projects you can like it helps you like gives it helps you like make a perfect uh um alignment on your work so it's still on this and if you click on this it increases the amount of what the uh or vertical vertical it adds to the vertical alignment line for example if i click on just check it it increases the what the what the lines on the right hand side on the vertical side and if i click on this next one what it does is it adds to the what to the horizontal lines or the horizontal grids and what this does is what like, it reduces what you click on it reduces uh, it, it, like let's say if you make a mistake in adding grid lines this what this does is what it reduces it and what this does is uh, actually it is help you the positioning of certain grid positioning of what you work so if i'm on this one and i want to like reduce the position so it's gonna take a second you see that it will move it so you can use it with your hand but also it's preferable you use this for perfect uh positioning and what this does and this last one does over here is that it gives you the ability to like have an exact amount let's say for example i go with 10 10 lines it gives you the ability to choose the exact lines or light grids you want on the vertical and horizontal guide. So let's say I want 10 vertical guide grids and let's say 30 over here. See, and this is what it does. So different project as they are different grid lines. There will be another video tutorial in the future for that. So what this is basically what the grid lines does for your design. 
and moving on to this one over here uh let me just click on it let's say for example uh, let me just undo some of the things i have done what this does is bring in like what you're working on every element you bring into your design it shows it here it brings it here and you can easily in uh, edit them or single handedly or here what this or uh, every uh, every element you bring into your design to your canva is going to appear here for example this lock what this lock icon does is that it makes you lock a project so you won't tamper with it since i've locked it i can't edit it i can't do anything to it anyhow if i click on it i can't do anything i can't move it i can't do anything what it does with it locks it and when i unlock it I can easily move it around with what with my ends and what I'm doing. So what is logged on and what this does uh this pencil and box done is that it helps you edit it. Like since this uh, since this uh element is a text, I can edit it right from here and just do you know if I want to uh, like uh, change the text. Let's say for example, I can delete okay and I click okay. And if I click it again, I can copy it. So can you see it has duplicated it? And what this does, I can hide even that what I uh, imported. I can hide it. See, it is hidden now. And what this does is, I can delete it single handedly without using this check my icon icon. So if I delete it, it's going to delete it. So th this is what basically this uh this job over here does. So this is the uh first part of, uh, video series uh, on this introduction to PC Lab. Though, so the next video will be talking on how you can use this lower region parts of this design we can use this lower region for your project so kindly look for out for the video as just go through the channel you're going to find it or look at the description of this video i'm going to leave a link there that you can click so if you find this video if you can just like this video subscribe to this channel and share it to a lot of a lot of your creative friends